Leak code question 105. Construct a binary tree from a pre-order and in-order traversal. So we are given the pre-order traversal array of the tree and another array representing the in-order traversal of the tree. And from these two arrays we must build this binary tree. Note this is not a binary search tree. As you can see, 7 is not greater than 20. It is just a regular binary tree. To figure this out, we must draw from our knowledge of the traversals. Pre-order traversal goes node left right. So we look at the current node, then we go to the left node, then we go to the right node. In-order traversal goes from the left node to the root node to the right node. So with in-order traversal, we could have a bunch of left nodes, then our root node and a bunch of right nodes. So this won't help us easily start our tree. However, when doing pre-order traversal, we know we return the current node before going to the left node or the right node. So we also know that the first node in our list, or the first item in our array is the root of the tree. As you can see here, the first item of our list is three, and the root of the tree is three. And with pre-order traversal, we know once we move to our next node, we will right away print that node instead of traversing down the tree. Because the first action that we do is node, or look at the node. So we can say once we traverse left, once we go one node forward with our pre-order traversal, we know it's going to be the left node. As long as this node, node 9, also shows up in the list before the root node in the in-order traversal. So then we know it's a left node. Otherwise, if there was nothing to the left of 3, then 9 could be the right node as we would skip the left node as there would be no left node. But in this case, 9 is the left node as 9 is in the left side of the in-order array. The final step is to find the next right node of our tree. So we know the first node is our root node. We know the second node is most likely our left node as long as there's a left side of the tree. But how do we know if 20 is the right node? Because if this was a much larger tree, then we could continue down the left side of the tree when we go node left, and then we can continue left or go to the subnodes of that left node. And we could have many nodes in between 3 and 20. So we realize that since we found 3 is the root node, every node to the left of 3 is in the left subtree. So if we simply get the range for the beginning of the in order list up to the root node that we found, or the current subtree's root node, add that to the root index in the pre-order list, and then add one to it, so we skip the left tree, then we will find the first right node. So that's how we find all the nodes, combining pre-order traversal and in-order traversal to build our tree. So let's look at the code. Here leak code gives us a basic tree node class. It has a value, it has a reference to a left node, and it has a reference to a right node and a constructor that takes in a value. Here are the sample arrays that we are given and the build tree method that leak code will call, passing in the pre-order array and the in-order array. So the first step is to get the index of our root node, which is index zero in the pre-order list, so start of the pre-order is equal to zero. And then we need the section of the array that we're searching on in the in-order traversal array, which initially is zero to the length of the array. Here I create a dictionary for in-order root indexes, which simply allows us to get the index in the in-order list for a specific value of a node that we are currently looking at. The dictionary is simply a hash table in C-sharp. This is just to improve performance instead of looping through the in-order list for the root node that we already have from the pre-order list. So I simply go from zero to the length of the in-order array. Then I add the value in, in the in order array at that index as the key, and the value returned for that key will be the index of that value. So here's the main recursive method, build tree recursive. It takes in the starting index of the pre order array, the starting index of the in order array, the end index of the in order array, the pre order array itself, and the in order array itself. So here's the recursive method, build tree recursive. Of course, when the start index of the in-order array is greater than the end index of the in-order array, then we know that we've searched through that entire section of the in-order array, and we must return null. Also, if our current position in the pre-order array is greater than the length of the pre-order array minus 1, then we know we went through the entire pre-order array list as well. 
so we must return null. So we know our current root is at the start of the preorder array. We must find the left node and the right node by looking in the other array. So we find the position of the root node of the subtree or the entire tree in the in order array. This could be done by looping through the entire in order array and comparing the value that we got from the preorder array with the current index of the in order array. And then if they match, we return that index. But we already created a dictionary that has these indexes available for us. So we can pass in the value of the root node that we're looking for and get back the index in the in order array. So now we have the in order root index. Next, we must create our root node or the root node of our subtree by getting the value of the first element in our preorder array. Now to get the left node, we must recursively call our function. Our left node will be our current root node plus one. So the next item in the preordered list. And since we are looking at the left side of the tree, we will start at the beginning of the in order list and then go up to where we found the root in that list minus one. So we're only looking at the left side of the root that we found in the in order list. And then we just pass in our arrays to have references to them. Then to get the right node of our root node, we must look at the current index of our root node on our preorder list and then add the range of left nodes that we found on the in order list by taking the in order root index and subtracting the start of the in order list and then simply add one to get past that range of elements. So again, whatever node we're currently on in the preorder list, skip the left tree by getting its range plus one. And then we'll be looking at the right side of the in order list. So our new start of the in order list will be the in order root that we found plus one. And then we go to the end of the in order list. And then we simply pass through our arrays for reference like normal. Then we return root and we have our tree built. So here's a quick look at the method in full. And if we run it, we can see we got the tree just as we expected. Three is our root. Our left node is nine. Our right node is 20. It has a left node of 15 and a right node of seven. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.